There are at least two distinct selves, the public and regal self, the private and human. Walter Liebman, American writer, reporter and political commentator, the author who introduced the concept of Cold War for the first time, Lippmann two times Pulitzer Prize winner, which one of them was given for the newspaper column Today and Tomorrow, and another one was for the interview with Nikita Khrushchev in 1961. He was one of the most influential journalists and also gave a lot of contributions to modern journalism. The political scene, liberty news, public opinion, American inquisitors, the method of freedom and other books still able to give some tricks. However, there is one book inside of this bookshelf that really important not only in modern journalism and in sociology as well. Despite the fact that public opinion was written almost 96 years ago in 1922, Lippmann had probable claims which are still acceptable arguments today. The main point of the book is to demonstrate the problem of a democratic society through public opinion. As he wrote, the pictures inside people's heads do not automatically correspond with the world outside. Lippmann does a great job by explaining how people perceive situations differently. He gave examples and through the situations describes how pseudo environments are each individual understanding of what is real. As the author mentioned, people live in the same world, but they think and feel in different ones. He mentioned that public opinion should not be managed by the press, however, it can be organized for the press. Lippmann was believing that propaganda is impossible in the society where there is no barriers. In other words, in order to conduct propaganda, there must be some barrier between the public and the event. He claimed that media has power to limit public access to information. Therefore, if media play the role of gatekeeping and limit public access to information, so public create stereotypes to form their opinions. All preconceptions deeply manage the whole human perceptions. In his books, where he discussed the liberty and democracy, Lippmann criticized the theories about democracy of other scholars. But his main goal was to make those theories suitable for the contemporary world. Explaining democracy through public opinion, he argued that political and mass propaganda shape people's opinion. By this manipulation, the deliberative democracy was an unworkable or just a desire. He continues his thoughts about the role of public opinion in a democracy in the next book, The Phantom Public. In both of these books and his other books and columns, he gave exact examples and revealed the truth of communication between the democratic system and the public opinion through psychology. However, in the fandom public, he is more pessimistic about the role of the public. As he wrote, the public is a deaf spectator in the back row. He mentioned that people can impact the government only in elections, and even there, they reduce the expressions of people by giving them two choices, yes and no. Researchers still aim to find the right definition or function of democracy. There are still ongoing issues regarding public opinion and how the media affects the audience or political system manipulating people. Walter Lippmann was writing about what we today would call agenda setting. The world outside and the pictures in our heads. Scholars based on this idea developed agenda setting function. The books were written almost 100 years ago, are still remain the main resources for researchers. Despite the fact that at that time and even now there are a couple of scholars who do not consider Lippmann's ideas about public opinion and democracy clear and criticize his point, they argue that the ideas written in Lippmann's books do not match with contemporary conditions as the world changed and the types of the media outlets increased and the audience become more sensitive. But there are still questions how much the traditional and new media platforms impact the public or are they breaking down the barriers between real and pseudo?